so this one's in the key of D, and um, I've actually got the E string dropped down to D, so it's drop D. Um, this normally, when I do these tutorials, I like to try and get them uh, really close to what's on the album. And with this one, I changed a little bit. I, I've embellished it a little bit because the guitar tracks on the album are really, really simple. They're mostly like one note things. So, you know, they sound fine on their own, but um, they sound really nice. Just, a, just embellished just a little bit. Okay. So what's happening on the record is you've got two guitars. Uh, one on the left channel, one on the right. And then you've got a third guitar that's overdubbing a few things here and there, okay? So how it starts is with this lick here, and it's... So we're on the A string, it's A5, D4, and open G. And we're just doing that, that picking pattern. A string, D string, A string, G string, so... then A string, D string, A string, D string. Okay, so real slow. Okay, so that's how it starts. Um, now the D string is tuned down and some guys will go, you know, use that D string there, right? And that's pretty, you can do that if you want, but what I'm doing is I'm trying to save that open D for so it has a little more effect later on in the song uh, over over a couple of licks and uh, in the ending. Okay, so I'm trying to do most of it without the open D. So that's what that's what both guitar parts are doing. And then he's got a part over dub which goes. Um, So what you've got to try and do now then is to put those parts together if you want to play it by yourself, right? So um, what we're going to add to this, okay, what I do is, I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but I'll explain the way I do it is I just, I change my fingers there. So I got a little finger there, third finger here. And when I hit that G note, I'm going to also hit the E note here. So I'm going to get... So I've got there and there fretted, right? And then back to here, okay? So you do that the first time, then it's just open. Do it again. Open. And then we do the lick, okay? So that's how I do the beginning. And I try and leave the open E out because I want to use that a little bit later, okay? So on the record, I'm pretty sure that he's not finger picking. I, I don't know for a fact. I, I, you know, I'm just guessing. I think he's just using a pick and all this stuff. I could be wrong. I'm doing it finger picking, okay? So that's how I'll show you. And the toughest part about that whole thing, well, other than that, that, I mean, there's some stretches there and you wanna make sure that that open string rings, right? You don't wanna do this. buzzing and stuff you want to make sure that you're coming down on the frets right not across them come down get your wrist you know where like with most rock and roll you know your wrist is kind of back here with this kind of stuff you want to make sure your wrist is fully forward right so we're coming down on the strings now that lick a lot of guys will pull that off they'll go you know, pull all of them off or pull the first one off. But to me, you've got to pick all those, okay? And the way I do it is I go, I go thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb. It's, it's kind of tricky, right? It might take a little practice to get that. Okay, so that's how I do that. So slowly it would be. open A, okay? And on the record, this part just goes like this. Now, 
both guitars left and right are doing that, and then the overdub guitar is going. And it puts in that extra note there, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of add a harmony note to that and try and do both guitar parts. So I'm going to go like this. go twice on those or just once? Once or twice. Okay. Okay, so then on the record what's happening is, is um, he's going like this. I think he's playing it up here. Sorry. And on the last time he's going Doing a slide down there and back to the arpeggio, so that, that whole bit is like. Okay, and then the overdub guitar is going. Okay, and so what we've got to do is we've got to combine those parts too, okay? So how I do it is I just go like this. Then I, I lead up, just chromatically from uh, the G string, G4, G5, G6, and then I hit this chord here, which is like a C chord, up two frets, okay? So I go, then I'm into this arpeggio thing, okay? So, I'll just play that real slow. Okay, now you could, instead of going, you could go. Okay, that'll work too. It's, the string's a little brighter, the B string's a little brighter, so you, you kind of are changing the tonality a bit there. So you're going from this. Just a little brighter. I mean, you know, if that bugs you or not, I don't know. It kind of bugs me, so I do it here. Okay, then we do this arpeggio. We just do it twice. It's just A string, D string, G string, twice. And then we, sorry, we go back to the D string. So it's A string, D string, G string, D string, twice. Now we've got to do the lick, right? And to do the lick and play the arpeggio is it's tricky to make it sound like um, seamless, you know? So what I do is this is where I incorporate the, the low the low D. So I go like yes, I go low D, open D, okay, so and then I, I am here, another open D. Or a low D. Okay. So real slow. Okay. So now moving on from that, we're gonna, uh, on the record, he just uh, does this. single notes okay so here I'm gonna so I'm gonna change it up a little bit and just just add some harmonies okay so I'm gonna go like yes okay so the harmonies are really pretty simple it's a D chord right it's like a like a bar but we're just doing here so we're gonna go uh, what is it G7 B7 E5 D, right? And we're pumping the, the open D string there. Like, I could do that with a low E, but I want to save that, like I said before. So I'm going to do, do here. So it's that second chord is like an A7, okay? So think of an A, like a, a A bar chord. And just that part of it. Now just this part of it, um, but with these fingers. 
and we're going to hit the G note down here on, on E3. It's like an A7. Okay, but it's all over a D bass, okay? So the D bass is pumping on 4, so... Okay, next chord is a B minor, just G3, or sorry, G4, B3, E2. Just like, a, like that, but only here, because that's all you need. Still pumping the D string, so, so far we've got... Okay, and then we're going to hit an A chord. Just like that, like your basic A chord, but we're just going to do it with those two fingers and just pluck those three, right? So, without the bass, okay, with the bass, okay, and then we do this lick, it's just a, a trill on B2 to B3. Pull off, pick. Okay, so. And then we play this chord, which is will be B2 and uh, D4. So, and the open G string, we just, we go up and down that, right? A string, D string, G string, D string, A string. Okay, that repeats three times, all right, and then we're on to the next section. Okay, so we're going to just pump the A there on fours, and on the record he goes, it's just a one note. But I'm just throwing in that harmony just to fill it out a bit, okay? So I'm not doing the vocal part here. I'm doing the guitar part, but just kind of embellishing a little bit. So, and it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And the last time on the record, the guitar goes like this. So it's that kind of staccato thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to do that in harmony. So I'm just going to add that B note there. So I'm going to go... Um, there, that's like a G chord, right? Just a D string and the B string. So... That's D4 and, uh, and A2. So, um, you could play this open, but then you've got that tonal thing again, right? That's really bright and brassy, and that's kind of in the same ballpark as the other chord, so I prefer to do it there. So, I'll play the bass note too. last chord is just here, just just uh, D2 and, and the open G, so. Okay, and then to end that we go like this. So it's like open D, open A, A3. Sorry, A4. And we're into this. So that whole part really slow. Okay. From there, we're into this... Uh, this part again. Okay, but just I think it just does it twice there. So to finish that off, it'll be like. Uh, so from this. 
Yes. We're back into that, right? It does that twice now, okay? And then we go back into this, um, it's sort of like the beginning lick, okay? Like that section there has two parts, right? One of them goes, right, like at the beginning, and then in the verse, it does it that five thing, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, but in, now uh, coming out of that, we're gonna go back to that beginning part of it, okay? So um, we're here. Twice if you want. We're here again. And here. And then we're into the ending, which is the goodbye blue blue sky part. And this is the toughest chord change here because you've got to come out of that lick and right into that chord, okay? So we've got to go. Uh, so you've got to come from here and nail that chord, okay? That's probably the toughest part, so. Okay, so the chords there, the, the first two are the same as in the other part, but on the on beat now instead of the off beat. Like, the other part is like, it's on the off, right? It's all off, but this is all on now, so it's like, well, it's not all on, the first one's on. And that, that is a chord you haven't played yet, and that's like an E minor. But we're just doing there, okay? So we've got, what is that, uh, G9, B8, and uh, E7. Okay, so... E minor. Back to the D. Thing, right and then we're like here and that's like down to a C okay this is the way I'm doing it this is the embellished version right because on the record I think he just goes uh, um, okay pretty sure that's the part on the record it's just kind of harmonizing with the vocals okay but you know that if you're playing this on your own that's I don't know that's just doesn't really cut it for me so I think it's better to to get those that vocal part in there so okay now down to the C always pumping the four on the on the D string again actually the first time it goes And then we hit the D, or the G and the B string there, right? Just just there. We don't hit that one. At least, I mean, you can if you want, but, you know, my version is a combination of what's on the record and what I think sounds good. So on the record in that part, it goes just those two, okay, without that one. But you could do that one too. You could go... not a big deal right do whatever you want to there whatever you think sounds best but I'm going like this again okay and now I'm going to do the lick heading into the out of the song and this is where I'm going to get to that open D or the low D right because I think it's the most effective if you just bring it in at the end right so I'm um, going to play that whole last bit Actually, I'll show you the lick first, so. Okay, and the lick is, it's just a slide down from uh, A3, A3, C note, to the B, pull off to the A, and then bend here on E3, and then open. So. And then I do the instead of going, I bring the low e, low D in there, okay. And you. Can
you can either pump it like every time. I think when I recorded the, the beginning bit, I went like this. So one, and then like the first pump there, and then you hit that one. And finish off with the, with the low E, low D. Whatever you want to do there, right? Because we're, you know, we're deviating from the record a bit. The record is just... Okay. So that's it for all the parts. I mean, it's a timeless song, right? Fantastic. I love this song. And I love the sound of the guitars on the record. Just a really, really nice guitar playing and excellent writing by, um, I guess... David Gilmore would have played guitars on this, right? Um, anyways, I hope you get something out of it. Talk to you next time.